How to minimize the use of cigarettes. Okay, how do you minimize I'll the tell you use? How to minimize okay, it? Because how? I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, I smoked for 16 years. Um, it's, a, it's a terrible, it's a filthy habit. Mm -hmm. And it is the hardest thing I ever stopped. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you simply have to stop it. Mm -hmm. Because, A, it, it, it's, it's a disgusting, filthy habit. You smell terrible. The, your hands smell awful. Your clothes smell awful. Your car smells awful. And one of two smokers uh, dies of a smoking-related illness. I mean, that is a fact. Mm -hmm. We know that smoking is absolutely causative in cancer of the lung and many other areas. Um, that's why when, when folks say we're making big progress in lung cancer, another big progress that's happening in lung cancer right now is smoking abatement because lung cancer peaked in the early 90s and in the U.S. has been going down since then. But unfortunately, the rates uh, tend to still climb in a lot of third world countries because of the aggressive marketing and promotion of cigarettes mm -hmm. by big tobacco companies. Mm -hmm. So you can use sibat sibatan, okay? Otherwise, you can use sibat sibatan. So it's a plant. So you just boil it, you drink mm -hmm. it, and it can help you with your cravings. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you want to uh, replace a habit, if you want to remove, you want to remove a habit, you have to replace it with the habit. Yeah. That's scientifically proven. For example, your life, you wanted to change, like you don't want to drink anymore. You have to get another habit. So it's either you exercise, or you um you do paintings, you do gardening, which is a better alternative. Oh, absolutely. Okay. You, just, you need mm -hmm. to get your mind off it because so often what happens is it's the, the that oral fixation of. You know, constantly putting something, yeah. you know, up to your mouth. Uh huh. Tiba. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and so that's why when they when they when they stop smoking, they gain weight. Oh yeah, many people gain weight because of that oral mm -hmm. fixation. You know, I used to think, you know, when when they had the patches, uh huh. You know, that you could you could put those transdermal patches on for the nicotine delivery for those. And when I first started smoking back in two thousand one, um, I was I was trying to have a jacket made out of those patches. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to, I wanted to smoke very, 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 very badly. Ah. But it was, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a very difficult thing to quit. But mm. it's, I'm, you know, all the better for it. And so the thing is, if anybody is out there right now who's smoking and you wish to quit, just understand this: if I can do it, you can. You can, can do it. yes, exactly. There, there are people who quit smoking, you know. And I used to make an excuse about it when people say, "Oh, you need to quit smoking," and I'd say, "Yeah, my parents didn't raise a quitter." <laughs> you know, which is just a really dumb thing that I would say. Yeah. And uh, but, but it's different. It, it's it's different and it's difficult. It's if, very difficult. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, if you want to try and quit smoking, uh -huh. please sit down, talk to your family about it, and let them know that this is something I really want to do. Mm -mm. Please be supportive of me in this. You know, mm -hmm. if you if any of your family members do smoke, please ask them not to do it around you. So they're asking about vaping. Mm -hmm. Vaping. Yeah. Well, oh, you know, obviously right now the Centers for Disease Control have been amassing a significant number of people who are being injured through vaping injuries right now. I mean, what you're talking about is you're, you're, you're ingesting into your lungs, which is very, very sensitive tissue, uh, a foreign substance, which mm -hmm. is really not supposed to be there, mm -hmm. which is going to leave residue, mm -hmm. you know? Well, they say, well, it's just vapor. Well, no, it's, it's more than that, you know? There, there is... Obviously, it's a nicotine delivery system. Mm -hmm. And even the scientists, or nicotine, or some people are saying it's a CBD delivery system. Yes. But that's, that's essentially what a cigarette is. A cigarette is a nicotine delivery device. Uh -huh. Vaping is, in essence, in its most basic form, a nicotine delivering device. Mm -hmm. And it, they're, this big tobacco companies and even uh, lobbying groups are trying to promote that as a safer alternative right now to smoking. Mm -hmm. But right now, as the last I read, there are 12 deaths that have been associated right now thus far with vaping yeah. in just the last few months and nearly a thousand hospitalizations uh, due to vaping related injuries. Uh, but what about smoking? Oh. Smoking killed, killed a lot of people. Though. Smoking kills oh. scores of people. Yeah. Simply because, you know, smoking is one of those things you're not going to typically die from lung cancer after having smoked one cigarette. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it takes a long time. To, to build up the damage in order for the uh, the smoking to, to cause lung cancer. Uh -huh. And as many scientists, even Dr. Willard at Harvard University, you know, who's the head of uh, nutrition at Harvard, uh -huh. will tell you that typically smoking needs to occur for 10, 20, sometimes even 30 years. Uh -huh. and, and are there people who smoke their entire life and don't get uh, lung cancer? Absolutely. Yes. But let me ask you this. How many people 
who are 70, 80 years old, who smoke for 30, 40, 50 years, mm -hmm. who are the picture of health. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't think there's a lot. No. <laughs> they, you know, they, they go walk around the yeah. house, they walk out to yeah. get the mail at the mailbox. They and smell, it's... yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so again, just for um, to cut Sir Jack, okay. To cut me, well, the best thing is just don't start.